You want more distance? <laughs> That's you, how you should have You've come to it. the right place. So you should have said it. That's actually going to be the intro. So, you want more distance. Well, you're in the right place because so do I. I want more distance. Nick is here. He wants more distance. I do. I want more you distance. You seriously want more distance? Yep. I want to be able to outdrive every single living person. Not that you hit it far enough anyway, but Al has lost a little bit of distance of late. So he's come to me and said, Nick, what do I need to do? So in today's video, we're going to make you hit it longer. It's been since the injury. Yes. I correct. feel like I've, since the shoulder injury, nearly fell over there. Since the shoulder injury, we've lost a little bit of speed. Strike has gone out the window. Yeah, his strike locations have been a little bit all over the place. And if you've been watching these videos of late, we've been getting some yeah. loss of distance and then some erratic shots yes. and some high ball flights that we need to bring down just that little it bit. It ruins the averages as well. But the idea is you guys are going to benefit from this because everyone wants to hit it further. Let's be honest. Yes. You want to hit it further. Yes. And I can't even hit it out of my shadow. So it's anywhere it's close it's to him would be great. You know, we want to outdrive. Daughters, sons, husbands, wives, dogs, guinea pigs, fish. Grandma. Grandma. I can't forget grandma. And granddad. You know, and granddad, you know. yeah. I'm just going to hit a few shots. Yes. See what we get. See exactly what we're dealing with because at the moment, strike location tends to be lower half. Yes. The bad ones. Which and means his spin numbers get up a little bit. So I reckon I'm losing. 30 to 40 meters, roughly? E easily. So easily. we need to get that it's back. straighter if my club face is square. Correct. If my club face is square but I'm losing so much distance and I don't want to. So we're going to be focusing on three different points in our swing. Number one, his angle of attack. We're going to get that moving up through the golf ball so we can get that ball up in the air. We're then also going to be looking at Al's width at the top of his transition of his swing. He gets a little bit narrow when he pulls it down. And if we can get it just a little bit out and away, he's going to hit more distance. Yeah. And then, of course, strike location, which Al covered a little bit a second ago. If we can get that in the middle of the face, it's going to bring the spin numbers down, and we're going to find roughly 30 metres extra distance. We'll see no pressure, really, is there? No pressure. Then we're going to start hit five with what's currently occurring. Then we're going to make some changes. Go through the tips, and then hit another five, five shots. see what happens. Another. See, that's not good. No, cracking of the arm. As you can see, Al's got, still got that cracking of the arm, which is a bit of the injury, still playing Haig on his... Distance? That's really not good, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> or Mr. Potato Head and the legs connected to the arm. That's what it feels like. <laughs> out to the right, my favorite place. Your favorite place for sure. Out to the right, guaranteed next one's gonna be left. All right. <laughs> See, oh, you called it. Did I not call that? And I called that one as well. So the green is 300 meters away. And if you all know Al quite well, you probably know that that green's usually gettable, if not going past. If you can cure me, you can have all my subscribers. Terms and conditions. Of oh, I was going to say, where's, where's the terms and conditions? <laughs> In the description below. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to Team Al. Finding a little bit of rhythm now. Yeah. Oh, that was high in the face. So if you can't see the screen, these are my averages. We've got the animation down below. <laughs> I don't, don't know what that is. <laughs> so our average club head speed was one, two, one. We're gonna be keeping an eye out on that. Yes, we wanna see that. Be interesting. Ball speed, 179, strike dependent on average. Backspin, 2343. Three. Carry, 274, 288 total distance. So, we're carrying it 300 yards for everyone that you know, uses yards. All right, so the things that I want to implement, so if we can get a little bit of width on Al's transition, we probably could see that club head speed maybe jump two, three, maybe four miles per hour, just because his width is going to be a little bit wider, or his angle, or his arc is going to be a little Stop bit wider. Stop wide. <laughs> well, he's wider than me. <laughs> Big pardon. <laughs> um, backspin, we want to bring that into a better number, roughly around what, 2 1? I reckon, yeah, 2 is the hot spot. As two's long the as hot I've spot. got the launch and the strike. As long as he's got the strike location. And then that's where we're going to go into strike location. We're going to put some markings on Al's face to see where he's striking it on the face to make sure that we're getting it up at the right angles. Okay, so tip number one, like we said, we talked about width in transition. Now, this is a big thing. So Al's going to take his backswing up to the top. 
And what he normally does is when he transitions is he gets really narrow, feels like he pulls down here and we've lost all our width. So what we're gonna get Al to do is he's gonna take his swing up to the top here and we're gonna feel like I'm gonna put my hand on the back of that and he's gonna be pushing that handle out towards me. That will get that club out a little bit wider. He's retained his hinge, but he's gained width in his arc, which is then going to give the club more time to get the ball, hence jump the speed up into the air. So, not this. Correct. More like that. Okay, now the big thing I will emphasize on that is you do not want to be casting it like a fishing rod, okay? It is about maintaining hinge and maintaining width. Second point is, is now we're looking more towards the ground and the angle of attack at the golf ball. Because he's created a little bit more width on his transition, he now wants to make sure or ensure that he's hitting the ball on the up. So a good thing to look for here is to have a little bit of shoulder tilt through here, just to help him get that feeling of hitting the ball up into the air. But then that comes down to the last point and probably one of the biggest points, and it's all about strike location. So how do you get strike location? You need to put some sort of marking on the face. Right now I've got some face tape from downstairs which we can stick onto the club face, which will give us an imprint of where he's hit the golf ball on the face. Now the other thing that you can actually use and probably a very good thing that you can use is foot spray. If you can get some foot spray from your local sports shoe store, you can spray that on the face, it makes a nice light film on the face and you can hit a golf ball and you can actually see where the markings are on the face. Anyway, that's your three quick tips to make you hit it further. Let's see what Al can do. You see that? That was horrible, that was heel low. So this is what we're talking about here. You see this one, it's quite faint. But yeah, that was basically a driver shank. And that's, that's probably the big thing there is, like I said, that inconsistency of ball strike on the face is definitely going to Im be impacting Al's distance off the tee. If we can get that into a better location, like I said, we're going to see a little bit more distance. Well, it comes down to, again, lack of practice. Correct. Not having time on the course because of injury. So, yeah, it starts to get a little bit more <laughs> erratic on the face. The big thing is, is when you're making a change like this, it is going to take a little bit of time, but... Like I said, if you can implement those three things, you're gonna to start to see some massive gains. Now we're gonna get Al to take the face tape off, try and put the three changes, and hopefully we're gonna see some distance increase. What time does this place short? <laughs> wow. Take longer. Hold on. That was hard, like decent strike. That was a yeah, much better yeah. strike. Sentence. Hey look, we're on the green. We're rolling mm -hmm. off the back of the green, so we found a little something there. Too bad again. That was definitely one of the better ones. Yeah. Where's the tee go? That wasn't the best. Still 122. 122. Club head speed is consistently. Yeah higher than what it was before. Yeah. Haven't lost one right either yet. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> there we go. Still haven't lost one right. Stop it. <laughs> so not only have I found him a little bit more length, I've found him a little bit more consistency. Aren't you good? 123 again. So we're definitely seeing a two mile per hour increase in club head speed, just simply by creating a little bit more width at the top of the swing. What a really average. <laughs> <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> God, I don't like you. <laughs> I think we can all agree that that was a little bit better. A little bit better. It's a not going better. to be, I mean, you know, from a lesson point of view. Yes, correct. Because it's not always plain sailing to start with, is it? No. Nothing ever happens overnight in this game, as everyone should know. But if you start to implement the right things and make the right changes and work at it the proper way, you're going to start to see some benefit. Yeah, well, let's have a look at the numbers and then yeah. see what we have or haven't gained. Yeah. Nick? <laughs> look at that, smiling like a Cheshire cat. <laughs> Cheshire cat. <laughs> five of five before, but the width, I've got to admit, I'm not going to lie, it's a, it's a horrible feeling going from here 
to here. Yeah. But it's not going to feel, like we said earlier, it's not going to feel normal. If it no. feels normal, we've got problems. Uh, that's a big thing, is if it feels normal, then you're probably doing it wrong because you're doing it the wrong way. So you need to be able to feel a little bit weird when you're making a swing yeah. change because then at least you know you're doing something. Correct. So five and five, so the driver was the one before. The after driver was obviously the, uh, the after with the improvement. So we'll start with club head speed. So we've gained a mile an hour. We've gone from 122, well, we've gone from 121 to 122, 122. with a change. So we've gained a mile an hour. On average, but then you saw some of his shots that did go from 120-ish to 123. So, you know, three mile per hour increase on some of them. So the big thing here is ball speed. Yes. So assuming this is more, seeing we've only had a one mile an hour increase in club head speed, it's got to be down to strike. Correct. So we've gone from 179 to 183. In ball speed. So it's a good, solid four mile an hour improvement. And that always going to be reflective in total distance. So spin, two, three, four, three before, yep. two, four, nine, one afterwards. Yep. And the last drive was, was mid 3000. Yep. So that, I reckon we would have gone below. On we spin. definitely would have gone below. Yeah. And that last ball flight was quite high and yes. that was reflective yeah. of the spin. Um, and from that, obviously the important thing, the idea was to hit this further. Yeah. So we've got carry distance from 274 before to after 278. And that's in carry. And that's in carry with total distance. So before 288 to now 292. Now you also got to remember this is only after two minutes yeah. of changes. I did make you look, Our, I did, I made you look good. It though. did make me look good. Uh, two minutes of changes in the studio. We haven't even really worked on it that hard, but no. he's implemented a couple of changes and we've already seen a difference. So give that, you know, two to three weeks of work, which is what it usually takes and a thousand golf balls to make a change. We're seeing a change already. But playing on like Tiger Woods or Roy McIlroy doesn't count as practice on the <laughs> Xbox, okay? Just so you know. I will experience. not challenge him at that game. He's <laughs> just got too many years experience in that game. <laughs> I'm a king. <laughs> so just, just quick, Nick, look at the um, dispersion as well on the graph. So I'm sure we'll get a close up of this so you can see it properly, but the green is the after. So as Nick was saying, we didn't spray any out to the right. right. He tried to jinx me, but it didn't jinx you. It worked. Um, I'm just, you just can't touch me. Can't this. <laughs> so the, the blue, we've got two to the left, three to the right. right. But the green is clearly more moving one way. Exactly. We got a bit more consistent because yeah. we've got a little bit more width in the arc. It gives him a little bit more, I guess, stability in his swing, hence yeah. creating a more effective shot pattern. Pains me to say this, but Nick did win this. Woohoo! Damn you. One to me. Damn you. So um, comment down below if you did like this. This is, again, new territory, yeah. especially for both of us. Um, never really done anything like this before. No. We did the Wolfie. We did the Wolfie one, but I mean, we've pretty much run two independent channels for quite some time yes. now. So go over to Academy with Nick, Golf Fox Academy. The link is down below and every location just, on the page. Just down here. Yeah, here, here. Just down here. here. Just down here. Um, hit subscribe. Nick's got some fantastic content helping you out like he has done me just now hopefully hopefully um so it's, it's everything for short game short aids. game long game you name it training aids everything to do with trying to get you to play better tennis That's... game pool game not just yet though no. <laughs> swimming <laughs> tennis academy um but yeah go over and hit subscribe he's got some great giveaways as well he's yes massive everyone. yeah massive One giveaways massive at the moment yes so one is sure extremely massive get over there and obviously this is the best channel ever, so hit subscribe. <laughs> number one channel, I'm going for number two. I will take over in one day. So thanks, uh, seriously though guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Comment down below if you want to see more of this, if you've got any sort of ideas that you'd want us to, to cover. Do. Yeah, definitely. Because obviously I need as much help as what you guys probably do. So yeah, hit, hit the comments down below, hit subscribe, follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time.